to this. I'm going to be Jira Wira. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Wada's World. It's your girl Jada Wada, and I'm back at it again with another video. Today, we have a special guest over here. She, she, got, she had her grandma, Mama Joan, mm. in the building. Mm. <laughs> All right, guys. And I think this video, I should have some very serious questions that she want to answer to. So I'm going to try my best to answer, to give her some kind of clue into what she want to do. Or whatever it is, because I really don't know the question name yet. So let's see what it is. Yes, guys. So today's video is mm -hmm. basically relationship advice okay why not get relationship advice from somebody who is so wise and has all the experience so i picked some juicy questions and i'm sure like everybody has some sort of situation or could relate to these questions so they're pretty general but here the thing guys means old folks you know so i like it old folks be upon the relationship guys she said what shall i go ask a relationship question she go ask I'm old school, so let's see, you know, if because you know, old people and young people are different things, and for them, ways of life is kind of different from our we old people. But we old people can't really deal with give them some good advice still. But if them are gonna fall and take that's the thing, so yes, get into I can it. also give my opinion on these questions too because. I think they're very spicy. Okay. So let's start with the first question. Mm -hmm. So the first question is, how do you keep things exciting in a long-term relationship? I like that sex. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Listen guys, don't, f listen. If it keeps, if it keep things going in a long-term relationship is like, what you guys have to do, what you have to do, Jada, say for instance, it's you in a long-term relationship. Mm -hmm. What you have to do is one of the key things in a, a long-term um, relationship is compromise. You have to learn for compromise. You have to give and take. You understand mm -hmm. me? But if you're in a situation where the person has compromised, you, you get rid of that motherfucker. <laughs> okay, but the, one of the most important things is to compromise with each other mm -hmm. and understand each other and always find somebody where you and them have the same interests and the same goal because if you find somebody where mm -hmm. you and them do have the same interest so nothing nothing not really interested in the same thing mm -hmm. but at the same time we're gonna have some comparison you understand okay so maybe my god there's a lot of more thing but you know i'm going too far too, I think too much i think that's a good answer okay okay um, I'm gonna add to that for that one. I think you guys should always be spontaneous Always be spontaneous do things out of the blue. You don't have to always have a schedule. Just be like yeah Especially, especially upon the sex part <laughs> <laughs> That's good if you feel like go up on the counter in the kitchen and drop a thing drop a thing as long as you clean it after because you know you you're clean the guests. counter after you're, you're, you're clean the counter after mm -hmm. you know the bathroom upon the counter in the bathroom. That's good too <laughs> <laughs> So the next so, question, look, guys, I see all this in the movie and it looks like it works for young people. That's why I say, come sit in the movie. Drama, she doesn't hold back. She's very real, very <laughs> real and very raw. You guys should know this by now. <laughs> but anywho, the next question is, how do you deal with arguments? Okay, let me tell you something. With argument, you have some man out there them have six tongue. The mongrel have one, but them have six. Who man have two? We can't prolong the argument, but some of them that some who are like them want to prolong the argument. But what you going to do? When you're in a relationship and you have an argument with your significant other, mm -hmm. you say, you know what, honey? You don't want to argue with me because you don't want to do the shot and you can't come back into the room. So, is they zip it now or we shut the door? Right. So, so put your foot down. Yes, put your foot down. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I'm not. I'm gonna stop my fooling around because I'm fooling around anyway. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in a situation, I wanna arguing. Uno, when I have to come to an understand understanding with the argument we wanna have, 
I want to make sure at the end of the day, when we don't argue, because everybody argue in a relationship, we don't do not vex and malice each other. You understand? Mm -hmm. We don't come to come some understanding and some agreement. We don't have to find a way to compromise with each other. That comes with compromise. Mm -hmm. We can't even grandma and ask the word right, but not no. to compromise with each other in order to make the argument done. Uno, uno agree to disagree, and that's, that's it. it. Yeah, bitch, shut up. You want to come in as long as you be quiet. This is Milo. If you don't let him Milo in here <laughs> to be in the video, I'm gonna make a lot of noise. So um, come, Pope, come right here. Oh. All right, so the next question is. How do you know when someone is the one, your soulmate? Well, when you know, you know the man we say, some people don't believe in love at first sight, but I believe in love at first sight. Because when I see my one, I just see him walking down the street and I said, that is him. He didn't even know I exist. Mm. But that's, that's how it worked for me. And, it, and I saw it go with everybody else. Mm -hmm. With, you, with with somebody else is like when you know it's the one is like this person care about you them look after you them take care of you and don't matter what them not find a fault and if you fought and them don't if you fought where the one is concerned now fear and now now feel no way so that is one of the things some some girls when they meet boys them do not fart but if you fought and him Chug it sure that that mean fisher that I want to think but if it's the one <sighs> okay grandma has always told me mm -hmm. if you can't pop around him you can't be with him okay okay she always says make sure you have somebody that you can pop around okay okay <laughs> you can't break with because what did who let what fart it, be free it, because it killed Mary Lee. Lee. Okay, so if you have a boy and you cannot break win around that boy, that is not the boy for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the fourth question, I think we already know Brown's answer to this mm -hmm. question, mm -hmm. but the question is Do you think sexual intercourse is an important factor in a relationship and why? If you can't work the joint, no good, the boy, no what? Listen, sexual relationship is a good thing. It, it, and it's a, listen, that is the number one thing in the relationship. That is the number one thing in the relationship. If you can't get a man some good church, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work. You got to can't fling that shit up. Listen. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, another thing to me, I'm going to tell you about that. And I'm not going to give you for free. That is your house and land. We got gear. So if you can't get us on and feet, do not let it go. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Jimmy, get us on and feet, man. <laughs> no, man. Okay. Whew. Grandma is killing me. <laughs> so so if, if you don't want me to answer the thing, no, no, you no, 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 no. do a no, 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 no. Keep answering just like how you're Okay. Answering. Okay. I feel like I'm, I'm on like a TED talker. Like, I don't know. Okay. Some, some top of top interview. So the next question is, what do you think about going through each other's phone? Because this is something that us young people, I don't, I don't like to do that because yes, anyway, okay. us young people mm -hmm. like to do, go through their significant other's phone and find issues. So what do you think about okay. that? Okay, that is a problem, guess so. Because if you have to go through each other's phone, that means you don't trust one another. And my thing is trust. If you have somebody, we have a relationship, you don't need to go through that boy phone and that you girl don't need to go through you the boy don't need to go through your phone mm -hmm. and you girl don't need to go through the boy phone no matter what he may have in them could have ten thousand women in there you could have ten thousand man in your own all you need to trust each other and leave other, each other property alone no i've never gone through papa Harry phone they never go through my phone maybe because i don't know if you know if you use the phone still but we don't do that so you don't go to each other phone and listen on the, on the phone should be able to be open mm -hmm. i don't have to hide nothing so if the phone lock that means you not hide something, but your phone can be open and the, your people don't go through it. So trust is trust. You heard it here, folks. I agree. Okay. Stay out of my phone. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> the next question is... Okay. What do you think about gender roles in a relationship? Like, women have to clean watch the kids don't work men go to work or the men have to like take out the garbage like 
what do you think about well for me for my friend or oh, all me is that no mm -hmm. may not believe in the gender thing where um woman have to do this man have to, the same thing the same thing a man can do i can do it the same thing a woman can do whichever way we can do it the both ways mm -hmm. the only thing a man can do a man cannot give birth to a child you understand? If a man can dig a hole, me as a woman can dig a hole too. It doesn't matter whatever it is. A woman don't have to necessarily stay home, take care of picnic, them can go to go work. Mm -hmm. And a man don't necessarily have to go out to go work, him can see home and take care of the children too. So it's just the relationship with the partner that you have. You understand? So that is my thing on the gender thing. Me, me, me change care tire. I change care tire too. Me, me try to learn everything where my husband can do. Me try to do it too. And him do the same thing with me. Him take care of the kids when I'm not here. Mm -hmm. And you know, I saw it for and that is the relationship you want. You want a relationship mm -hmm. where you don't be a, a person where you have to take care of kids and you have to necessarily be the one to cook the food because your husband can cook the food too. You know? So mm -hmm. that is my life that I've lived all my years. So I don't know. My husband cook, my husband clean, me cook me clean, my husband work, me work. So me hopefully you find you guys do the same. Yes. You understand? Well, I like that dynamic. Yeah. I would prefer a dynamic like that. Mm -hmm. I love a dynamic like that where it's 50-50. Mm -hmm. Where it's not just the woman that has to cook. It's mm -hmm. not just the man who yes. has to do go out and do the, the work. The work, yeah. I, the I, both ways. Yes, I would I would love to mm -hmm. do that. You're mm -hmm. advanced. You know how to change car tire. Yeah, I know how to do all of you're, that. You're a real independent yep. girl. I'm real number in, one yep. trending girl. Like yep. that's I'm it. very independent. I don't I love my, that. If I have a flat, I have a jack in my fan. And I can jack that motherfucker up. And change my tire. Grandma's inspiring. Okay. Love that. Okay. So the next question is Do you think it's necessary to know everything from your partner's previous relationship? No, why? Them the woman the way I'm have gone already. Your man where you have gone already. Why the hell you don't want to talk about the old man and the old woman them waiting at the back? You have a partner, you guys start from fresh, that's it, and you move on. In whole woman where you have gone, you're a whole man where you have gone. So, what, 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 what okay, what, the, what good is that going to do for the relationship for you? I don't know. Or for him? Is that, I'm going to ask you now a personal question. Mm -hmm. If you have a guy, and you, would you want to know about all his past girls? Mm, not really. Unless it's like... Come. In a sense, unless he like comes to me and he mm -hmm. opens up to me because maybe in the past that's, he got hurt or something. That's different. Then I would want to know. But. That, well, that's different. But you know, go ask him. Oh, so what was it like when you were with Sandra? What yeah, was no. it like? Did Sandra is Sandra Pum Pum sweeter than mine? Yeah, you no. know, like you don't want to do no. that because a lot of you young girls do that. You understand? And try to compare on yourself with the person them in the past. You don't want to do that's that because be because because what is it going to do for you? It's not gonna do nothing it's for you. It's just gonna create problems. Yeah, so a lot of people in my generation are very toxic and they love the problems. Well, honey child, you don't need that. I really don't. You have a guy, you can build upon a relationship. If you mm -hmm. want to tell him about your old person where you had before, and if him interested for no, him will listen. But guys don't like that because if him feel like for me, you say if him dig big, bigger than your old. For no bigger cock than the next one. No one want to hear that. Huh? Do not want to hear that. Okay? Okay, then you have it to that one. So you don't really need to know. Unless the other person is coming to share with you an experience that they had yeah. with a previous partner. Mm -hmm. The next question is... If a relationship isn't strong, do you think having kids can make a relationship stronger? Not necessarily. Because, may I can tell you, a lot of bo bo both ways, both with the man and the girl, mm -hmm. a lot of boys think you can, you can have a baby, you can breed you, and you will stay with them. And a lot of girls think they can have a baby for a boy, and the boy will stay with them. Then we have them baby, and them go about them business, and then you leave with the single, as a single parent. Mm -hmm. So no, that can make nothing stronger. You know, especially if you have issues and problem, because a lot of young girls do that. They have a boyfriend and they make the boy say they went and go have a baby, mm -hmm. but the boy still gone about in business anyway. 
so i don't i that's for me i don't think so i think when you gonna have a child or nothing make up you find the one and you say well and this is the person me i go spend my life with mm -hmm. so this is the person me i go have my children with and then later on if you don't decide to get married no after now if you have man for married if you have children mm -hmm. when you can't have no children but you know that this person is gonna be there with you to help you with the responsibility to take care of the child you understand so that to me that's when you're supposed to really think of having a baby when the two of them come together and decide so well and okay this is what I want to do so that's my take on that okay um follow-up question you kind of kind of touched on it but mm -hmm. when when this situation happens do mm -hmm. you think like the the child can suffer in a sense uh, if you if 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 you have a child for a person and that person gone you is a good mother and a good father, the child won't suffer because you're gonna love the kid and you're gonna take care of the kid. So it's like the way you're gonna take care of that child, you are the sole responsibility. You are gonna deal with it where the kid don't need nothing, don't want nothing. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because I have friends who are single parent and they are great single parent. It's like the kid don't miss them father. You know, and the same thing goes for a guy too, because I have a guy who is a single father and them is great single father. You couldn't even believe that them don't have a mother. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's my take on that. Okay. Okay guys, so I think we are at our last question Get already. Ready? Yeah. I don't even know how much time has went by, honestly, but I like this last question. Mm. So can cheating ever be justified in a relationship and can it be forgiven well cheating cannot be justified don't care when nobody tell me you cannot justify cheating because what are you going to go out there gonna do you go out there a lot of people are say oh them can't eat chicken all the time so they have to have some steak some of the time fuck that shit you understand me cheating you cannot justify cheating mm -hmm. but it can be forgiven and it's up to that person if that person want to stay with you and decide so well then okay when i'm cheat for me once but once you decide to stay you know say him is a cheater and you know say him will probably do it again as well as him probably don't so you can't say forgive him it's up to the, it's up to the person and the situation but you cannot just but oh you're gonna justify cheating Oh yeah, oh, 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 me drop me the junk and pump pum was there and me take it. Or oh, me junk and body was there and me take it. No, you can't. You're, but a lot of people drink and say, because them junk, them do things and use yeah. that to justify that. But you cannot, you're not supposed to be junk where you cannot know what you're doing. You understand me? So cheating cannot be justified for me, but I can forgive you. It take a long flipping time too. And I will never trust you again. For me, yeah, that this, it's a no, it's a done deal. You cheat on me mm -hmm. once, mm -hmm. you're not gonna get a second chance to well, come back. I don't I, know. But I, I'm telling this. Sometimes things happen, and if you love, if you guys have a lot of girl who love them, love, love them significant, love them guys, and them cheat on them, and them still stay. You understand me? Them still forgive them, but you know it's up to the person you know unless, but you can't justify unless the cheater can prove to you that they have changed for the better or, yeah or they realize their mistake and they're actually, actually rem remorseful then that's no. that's what i'm that's what i'm saying it can be forgiven but you cannot justify cheating because oh oh can you justify, justify yeah. cheating you know, but you can't forgive the person if them, as they say, get some moral about them and realize that what them do is bad and mm -hmm. you shouldn't do that to your girl, you know, then you can, and then it have, it based on trust too. Would yeah. you trust them again? You trust them again. You know, but if Papa, if, if Papa really cheat on me, me forgive him. I did not go nowhere, but me will forgive him. I'll, really? kill, I'll kill that motherfucker. <laughs> I chop off his fucking head. <laughs> You're better than me. Yeah. No, no, honestly, like you, you can, you can forgive a person for that, but you cannot justify that thing. You cannot justify cheating. But they can't forgive a person. People need to know like their boundaries in a sense. 
Because some people will forgive them and then they'll cheat again. No, well, 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 no, well, in that, in that situation, mm -hmm. no, if you, if somebody cheat on you for the first time and you forgive them and then go back and cheat on you again, no, you get the fuck out of Dodge. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're not going to sit down in it and just take it like that. No, a one time thing and you, you're remorseful and you say, I'm going to change and I gave it opportunity and the chance, but now the back of my head, me still uh, what what's what's going on and if it come up again so you do this then you got to get the fuck out of that because you're not gonna change then you know mm -hmm. but mother forgive a person honestly i would you know for the first time i would i would but let it happen again yeah then, then you're gone you're done yeah 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 so done. so Finished. so that's what mother do deal with that you know that was definitely the last question. I think these answers were very interesting. Well, it is what it is. Never. Yeah. For for someone of your generation, I mm. think that um, you're very. I would say, how do I how do I word it? Like you're very. You think like how a lot of. Okay, no, no, no. Because no. a lot of young people out here are very. Stupid. stupid not stupid sorry because there's nobody stupid a lot of young people do not think the way you think when mm -hmm. it comes to like gender roles and mm -hmm. like forgiveness mm -hmm. and so you think how a lot of us would think so i think that you're very different from others in your your age category in what way like so the way like you when you look at things you uh -huh. can you can also see it like yeah, I see it from the, in the from the young people. See from the, yeah, but some, okay, some, okay. Some, some some will be like, no, <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> well, uh, you must clean and you must cook and he must work. No, no. you must stay with him. No. Oh, no. I'm gonna add on to one more question mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in the divorce? I, I. It's not that I don't believe in divorce, mm -hmm. but. For divorce, divorce is hard and kids. Divorce is a very hard, like worse if it's a tight knit family mm -hmm. and one of the parents get up and say they want to leave. It's hard and the kids, but at the same time, sometimes the woman, she want, she don't want the responsibility no more. Sometimes the man don't want the responsibility no more or the relationship dead between the husband and wife and them decide, them just decide to make apart but the kids are the one that suffer and hurt in the long run so i don't believe in divorce but if you're in a relationship and it now work out and you have to go you have to go if i was in a relationship and i am going to divorce my husband mm -hmm. my kids are going to have to big and gone about them business them i leave them home like it, it will still hurt them that we're not together but at the same time they're not they're not small young kids god they're the one that suffer really really bad, really bad. yeah yeah god. so you have it here folks I have this goddamn food flying in this friggin because it's already melted my god yeah. well guys you have it here Mama Joan and her wise answers. <laughs> Me personally, I love these answers. Listen, I do the best I can for my grandkids, guys. I have to make them know growing up, you know, them have to know how to live them life, how to go out there. And, you know, when they met a boy, you know, or my son have them wife, you know, how them treat them good, nice, take care of them, you know them no go they go cheat on them because any one of my kids cheat on any one of them spouse or anywhere and me find out me sorry me no want mash up no body relationship but me I make them know because I don't believe in that I'm sorry that is me that's the end of this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't know next time that I post and comment down below what you think I want to know everybody's answers to some of these questions. So yeah. let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this video and you guys want more, you can send questions. Let me know. Mm -hmm. And I will answer them for you mm -hmm. as best as I can. Because you know Mama Joan are ready. Sometimes Mama Joan I will tell you as it is. Raw child. Whatever. <laughs> uh, that's me.
well guys that's it Hope you and we will see you in jada way in the next video bye okay